Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for what is the first in a recurring series of videos here on the channel going forward that will be dubbed Signature Sundays. So uh, as the title would imply, every so often on a Sunday I'm going to throw up a video here that will show off you know, one or more autographed cards from my sports and otherwise collection. Um, so I'm not super into autographs these days. I kind of move in and out between different aspects of collecting. And if you've watched my channel over the first hundred or so episodes here, you've probably gathered that I'm quite a bit varied and have dipped into a lot of different things over the years. Um, I think my biggest stretch for autographs was probably like 2010 through 2015. I would pick them up pretty regularly uh, during that period. Um, don't search them out much these days, but I do still grab them on occasion and have them trickle in every so often, and I've got a nice backlog anyway that uh, I would like to show off on the channel. I know there are a lot of autograph collectors out there, and I haven't really given these a lot of love uh, during the first hundred or so episodes, and so I want to start showing off some of the signatures that I have. And figured I would start today with a group of four uh, Red Sox signatures that all go together that are kind of near and dear to me. Uh, picked these up about 10 years ago. So the theme of the episode is going to involve, of course, what you see here, 1952 Tops Baseball. Uh, I'll save the debate about whether or not this is their first baseball set, uh, Tops' first baseball release for another day, uh, but it's certainly recognized by many as being their first set and is a very iconic uh, design that we all know and love as uh, vintage collectors anyway. And the cards that I have to show today came out much, much later than that. Um, about, you know, 60 years uh, after the card that you see there, but they're based on that. So in 2011, Topps created a set called Lineage Baseball. And I remember this uh, distinctly. I was excited at the time. Uh, I was actively collecting and I loved uh, when it was announced this concept of celebrating, you know, their, their rich past in trading cards with designs of the past and stars of the present and yesteryear and it, you know it sounded like something that was going to be right up my alley um in actuality when when tops delivered the product it was sort of a monumental disappointment they had poorly designed backs the design even the front design was kind of in no way what was touted to collectors when they first announced the set so long story short uh for me anyway i viewed 2011 lineage as a pretty big bust and i think that was a commonly shared opinion at the time but there were some autographed insert cards that you could pull that I love, even if the rest of the set was kind of a joke. And here is what they look like. So this is a 52 reprint autograph from that lineage release. I don't know what the insertion ratio was for these in the lineage product that they were very tough pulls, uh, but I wasn't able to find any information. Cardboard Connection, who I usually use for those type of stats, they did have a write up on these and they do have a checklist for them, but uh, even that site seems to be unaware of exactly what the pull ratio was for these. Um, they are based, as you can obviously see, on the 52 Tops cards themselves. So they feature the same image uh, for each subject that was featured on their original 52 release. Uh, the difference being these are standard size inserts because obviously they had to go out in packs of lineage, whereas the original 52 set is oversized a little bit. So these are slightly smaller. Uh, and they're on obviously different, more modern cardstock. But other than that, they are sort of a mirror image of the original 52 release. And what's cool about them is they left the facsimile signature that was present in the signature box on the 52 release here out of these. And they had the athlete hard sign the card, these on uh, in that area, in that signature box. So these are not sticker autographs. Um, in every case in this set, the athlete held and signed these uh, right on the card, which is awesome. So I have this one here, Don Lenhart. He's not really a well-known Red Sox player. He lasted uh, just two seasons in Boston. Uh, a little over 70 games appeared uh, in a Red Sox uniform in what was a five-year um, total career at the MLB level. Um, but I did grab this one because at the time, my goal with these, and, and we'll talk more about this in a minute, was to complete a Red Sox team set. Um, I don't know whether I got that done or not. So uh, we'll, we'll touch on that in a second here. But for now, uh, Don Lenhart is the first signature that I have for today. Next on the list, we have Ivan Delock, uh, better known as Ike Delock to 
fans and collectors. Um, you know, same concept here. This is his 52 release and uh, hard signed by Ike himself. He uh, spent a lot more time with Boston than Don Lenhart did. He enjoyed an 11 year uh, Major League Baseball career and played uh, just about every single one of these games uh, with the Red Sox. He did switch to the Orioles for just a handful of games right at the end before hanging up the spikes. Uh, and his career was shortened due to a knee injury. So he ended up retiring relatively early. Um, but at the time of this video, actually, Ike is still alive and with us uh, at the age of 91. So uh, this set is a year, I'm sorry, 10 years old now, came out in 2011. So he was 81 at the time of uh, signing this card. And he is still kicking now a, a full decade later. So go Ike. And that is the second card in today's grouping. I'm trying to leave him here. See if I can avoid getting too much uh, background glare here. And uh, I don't actually have Ike's uh, original 52 Tops card. It was a dreaded high number. So I think we all know the infamous uh, story about the high number 52 Tops getting dropped in the ocean and uh, tossed away. And uh, I definitely don't own one for that reason. And same with the following two cards we're going to get to. Uh, so the last three in this grouping of four are all really brutal and expensive. Um, I'd like to get them someday. I would aspire to complete a 52 Tops Red Sox team set, but just not there yet. So uh, here's the next one I have. This is a uh, Ted Lepsio catcher. And I love this one because this is my favorite image among the Red Sox cards in that 52 set. Just love the horizontal layout and the packed stands or semi-packed stands behind Ted and sort of uh, the differentiation in color there in the background. I, I can't exactly describe why it is, but I just always loved this image. Uh, when I do start going after some of the high number 52 Topps baseball cards, I'm, I'm gonna target this one towards the beginning of that pursuit. Um, Ted had a 10 year major league career and spent the first seven plus of those seasons with Boston and then bounced around to a few different fran uh, franchises over his final like two plus uh, seasons once he was dealt away. Uh, he did pass away in 2019, uh, so he is no longer with us and did want to take an opportunity, even though the cardstock is white, um, these do have uh, the, the very similar back to the original 52s as well. So I thought I would show that here with his card. Really cool signature there, very sharp uh, on-card autograph. All these gentlemen did a, a fine job with signing these, especially at the age that they were autographing them at. I'll just stick... Uh, Ted right up here. And then the fourth and final one that I have out of this grouping today is Dick Gurner. And uh, he was actually probably, at least as, as far as uh, offensive players in this post, uh, he was, or in this video, he was probably the most successful. Um, he did last 11 years at the major league level. Eight of those were with Boston. Uh, so a pretty significant player to get to sign for this uh, insert set. Uh, he had some really effective seasons when he was healthy. Uh, he, he would regularly put up, you know, 20 home runs and somewhere in the range of, you know, 60 to, seven, uh, 60 to 70 RBIs. So very effective uh, hitter that you don't hear a whole lot about these days, uh, maybe because his career was relatively brief, but uh, nice signature there from Mr. Gurnett as well. And uh, sadly, he passed away back in uh, 2017. Um, I don't think I covered this for the Don Lenhart that I started with. Maybe I mentioned it, maybe I didn't, but he passed in uh, 2014 as well. So out of these four guys, uh, only Ike DeLock is still with us today. Um, and then before we go, you know, I don't know if this represents a complete team set or not. Um, and this kind of drives me nuts. But the reason I say that, on the official checklist for this autograph release, it's noted that there is a Johnny Pesky autograph that features him with the Boston Red Sox on his 52 card, same as these others. Um, the difference is the Pesky card was not a pack issued hit that you could pull. It was an exchange card that you would mail in to receive your Pesky. I don't know whether the actual signed Pesky card exists. Uh, I've never seen one with my own two eyes. I had a saved eBay search for 2011 lineage Pesky hanging out there for years um, in an attempt to complete this team set, never triggered or fired once. So it's one of those sort of uh, mythic unicorn cards that uh, maybe it exists, maybe it doesn't. 
Um, if it does, I've never seen it. I don't know how many copies of it there are. Um, so I guess I can call the four cards that you see in front of you here a complete Red Sox team set. It's certainly as complete as I'm ever going to get, barring some kind of a miracle where I do stumble upon one of those pesky cards if they exist. So that's a wrap. Uh, we'll cut this one here at 10 minutes and uh, hope you enjoyed this first installment of Signature Sundays. I will certainly be back, not every Sunday, but I will vary these in uh, or slide these in from time to time featuring, you know, baseball autographs, hockey autographs, and uh, maybe even something a little bit different or random uh, from time to time as well. So thanks for sticking with me, and I'll be back soon with some more sports card content. Take care.